Hello everybody, this is DG and welcome back to Prey. And I think we are going to continue on with the uh, optional mission here. So what we need to do is search for Balami's corpse in Trauma Center. And it is that way. Oh! Whoa. Oh, that thing. Oh, okay. I was wondering what that was. It showed up behind this wall and I thought there was something on the wall. But it just turns out to be that thing. What is this? Okay, let's see. The trauma center. Whoa. Whoa. Why is that thing floating? Okay. So we're basically. Where are we at? Let's see here. We. Oh. I see. So we actually need a skill to repair. We can't use our wrench. Whoa! I knew you were coming out. Glue cannon! Oh yeah! All right, um... Oh, some canisters down here. And some bullets, medkits, good canister. Excellent. Whoa. So I'm guessing that we need a key for this, yeah. We'll go check back, um, uh, we'll go check back on this room later. Everything you know is about to change, new objective. January contact contacted me again as I reached the foyer of the Neuromod division. An actual Neuromod was placed where the display model used to be. Installing it will help me survive the Typhon... Typhon? Typhoon? Organisms. I think the uh, this organism is the one that we saw earlier. Um... We are definitely going to do that. Yeah, it's activated. Okay, let's see. Okay, that way is the trauma center, and your remote is just straight ahead. What is this thing? It looks like a... A communication device. I don't know. Transcribe Robert Gage. Robert? Alice! Thank God! No 
everyone else is... Where are you? Hiding. I'm in the conference room. I, I can't... Jesus! You're still in the lab? I can't get out. There's... What the hell is security? I don't know what's happening, but Robert, you have to get out of there. Come to the elevators. Someone said we're evacuating. Robert? Shh. Hang on. Someone's coming. Whoa. Gave plant clippings? What is that? A decaying a gave GBMH seventy two flower. Now we gotta be careful because we saw a couple of those phantoms or I forgot what they're, what they're called. Okay. Wanna, wanna... I saw you. Consuming med kits, right? I tried that. Okay, I'm trying to press E. I can't. Oh, wait, no. Why can't I use it? Uh... Whoa. Do I have to go to the screen every time I want to heal? Because that's a little bit inconvenient. Alright, uh, let's see. We're gonna go in here first because this is where the, um, yeah, the trauma center is. Or maybe actually we should just get the new remod first because, yeah, it's right here. Ooh, neat. 
Scientists use knowledge of science, medicine, and specialized lab equipment to your advantage. Engineer specialized in modifying your gear, repairing, and crushing problems with your wrench. Security boosts your physical ability, skill with firearms, and security tactics. Wow. Okay, so we have one Nero mod to spend on something. Um, what am I going to get? It's always safe to go with health, but... This would be nice too. Um, I think I'm gonna go with this conditioning. This is gonna hurt. go to the restroom first. Oh, sorry, I keep on doing that. the disabled toilet usage. Hold on, I didn't loot the mimics here. Right, they're called mimics. I forgot. There we go. Alright, we're good. New items have been added to the unique container in your office. Alright, so we came from the... You made it. Ready for your first real view of the world? I think so. Suit repair kit. Med kit.
Talus Lobby. Talus 1 or I. Lobby. Whoa. Uh oh. Okay. You have a lot of questions. Um, Talus One is open for you to explore. From the lobby, you can reach other parts of the space station via, uh, via the bulkhead doors and lifts. Hmm. Okay, how do I open my map? Is that yeah? Here it is. It wasn't working before. I tried to activate the map earlier. Okay, the objective. I'm guessing this is main objective and this is secondary objective. We're on level one. Station map. Yeah, we came from this division here, the Nero Mod division, and we're in the lobby right now. Okay. This is kind of creepy. Attention, station leadership has issued an alert. All personnel should report to muster stations immediately and await further instructions. Oh, well, maybe we can check this room. Employee orientation. This is Psychotronic staff only. Oh, 
Oh, this is the outside again, I think. Isn't it? Yep. Hmm. Trauma Center access card. Excellent. The main lift. Which we can't use, can we? Oh, no. Yeah, we can't use it. That's, uh, yeah. It is. The system is telling me it's fine. It's just... The diagnostic code is changing every time I make a request. I'll let you know if I find a workaround. Oh! Whoa, that's a lot of them. Make some space, make some space. Still. Oh, what the Phantom? Check out this room. Oh, is that another Neuromod? Yeah. Nice. Uh, Neuromods. Yeah, we got another one. I think. I think hacking would be good for now, for this early on. Uh, yeah, let's take hacking. All right. Twenty thirty, Talos One becomes fully operational. Represented twenty twenty five, the Tran twenty thirty. Talos One becomes fully operational, representing a monument of private space industry. The first Neuromod is released, allowing for dramatic enhancement to the human mind and body. 2030. 2025. The Transtar Board of Directors is established. Transtar purchases and privatizes the Kletka facility with a focus on safety and state-of-the-art upgrades. 1980 to 1994, geopolitical developments result in a temporary hold on Project Axiom. After the unfortunate Pobeg incident, in which two research scientists lose their lives, the Kletka facility is decommissioned and cleaned. 1964, after the attempted assassination of Kennedy and Khrushchev's departure, the U.S. pays for the rights to use Kletka as a testing facility. 
This period, known as Project Axiom, leads to many advancements in next generation materials and bioscience fundamental to neural modification. 1963. A top secret Cold War negotiation culminates with Americans and Soviets working together on a research facility named Kletka. Kletka, Russian for cage, produces the skeleton and core emergency systems of what will one day become Talos 1. Kletka. Cage. Oh, can we pick this up? I mean, can we use it? No, we can't use it. Explosive canister. Day one, I had dropped off my dog at the groomer. Uh, this is survivor's account of evacuation on day one. Her name was Eliza. It means Jay. I said goodbye and walk a few blocks to get some cafe bots near the park. Some jets flew over, very low, and the sound was so loud it made me jump. I don't know where they were, where they were from, but they were bristling with bombs and rockets. Everyone was looking up, and the sound of the jets was echoing off the buildings, but we could not see them anymore. The sky was clear, and I could see pink smoke rising from from the direction of the stadium. Then the sirens started. I had not clear. I had not heard them since my childhood. Some people stood confused, but my in instinct told me to run. Run away from the stadium, run away from Eliza. Some people were running with me, but we didn't know where to go. I saw a policeman directing people into a basement restaurant. I think it was an old bomb shelter. I looked up the sky again. I looked up at the sky again and saw an airliner. It was not military, I am certain. I think it was going to the airport. While I watched, it turned into glitter without a sound. It was just gone. A man near me began to curse. I fell down and hit my head on the street. Huh. Security. Have you been here? No, I don't think so. Before we continue on, we are going to stop here. Thank you very much for watching guys, and I will see you in the next one. Bye for now.